Hello, dear friends. Today's topic will take us on an exciting journey, exploring the industrial scale black soldier fly larvae farming model in China. The world leader in sustainable insect farming technology, organic waste treatment, and alternative protein production. Just by watching this video to the end, you will gain valuable practical knowledge that will help you confidently succeed in raising them right from your very first attempt. In particular, the video will share unique secrets from large-scale farms, making the farming process simpler, less labor-intensive, and far more efficient than ever before. After watching, you will have a comprehensive overview of the black soldier fly larvae farming process with specialized stages. The most detailed, specific, and easy-to-apply guidance for farming larvae effectively and sustainably, suitable for both small and large scales. Let's get started. Before we dive into the details of the black soldier fly larvae farming model in China, let's quickly go over some outstanding benefits and strengths of this amazing insect. Black soldier flies are not only easy to raise, but also bring significant economic value. First, highly efficient organic waste processing. Black soldier fly larvae rapidly consume organic waste such as kitchen scraps, livestock manure, brewer spent grains, soybean residue, etc. They can reduce waste volume by 50 to 90% in just a few weeks without producing bad odors and while limiting greenhouse gas emissions. Second, a sustainable alternative protein source for animal husbandry. The larvae are rich in protein, 40 to 60%, healthy fats, calcium, and essential amino acids, making them a high quality feed for chickens, ducks, fish, shrimp, pigs, and pets. They help reduce feed costs, replacing expensive fish meal, improve disease resistance, and increase livestock productivity. Third, high quality organic fertilizer. The remaining residue after the larvae have fed becomes nutrient-rich organic fertilizer with a balanced NPK ratio. It is safe and highly valued for fertilizing clean vegetables, ornamental plants, or fruit trees. With these superior benefits, black soldier fly farming is becoming a green trend in many countries, especially in China, with its modern industrial scale farms. Now, let's dive deeper into the actual farming process. Stage one, breeding and egg collection. This is the foundational stage to ensure a stable and high quality supply of breeding stock. The breeding area is usually kept separate with strict control of temperature, 27 to 30 degrees Celsius, humidity, 70 to 80%, and natural light or LED lights that mimic sunlight to stimulate mating. Adult black soldier flies do not eat any solid food. They live solely on the energy stored from the larval stage. Their lifespan is about five to eight days, during which they devote all their time to mating and laying eggs. A single female fly can lay 400 to 800 eggs in her short life. To collect eggs efficiently, Chinese farmers use simple yet highly effective egg-laying traps. Corrugated cardboard sheets stacked together, bamboo tubes with slits, grooved wooden boards, or split bamboo sticks. These materials are placed above a lightly fermented attractant, such as pre-fermented organic waste or brewer's spent grains. Female flies love to lay eggs in dark crevices that have an attractive smell. In the fly rearing house, they provide sugar water or diluted honey for the flies to drink, helping them stay healthy and lay eggs better. Additionally, a small bucket of fermented bait is placed to further attract the flies. Eggs are usually collected daily in the afternoon and then transferred to the incubation stage to begin a new life cycle. Stage two, egg incubation and rearing young larvae. Black soldier fly eggs hatch after four to five days at warm temperatures, around 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Before incubating, farmers check the bottom of the container for tiny hatched larvae. If no signs of hatching are visible, they wait another two to three days.
For successful incubation, eggs are mixed with easily digestible feeds such as chick starter crumble, brewer's spent grains, or some ripe fruit, banana, papaya, to achieve about 60% moisture. Excessive moisture can cause young larvae to suffocate and die in large numbers. A popular reference formula, 25 grams of eggs mixed with 2 kilograms of chick starter crumble plus water containing specialized microbes to reduce odor and increase survival rate. This mixture should be divided evenly into two trays measuring 40 by 60 by 10 centimeters so the larvae develop uniformly without overcrowding. Throughout this stage, the trays are covered with fine mesh to prevent house flies and other insects from entering. After about five days, when the larvae are larger and more active, the entire batch is transferred to larger trays or troughs for the main fattening stage. Stage three, fattening the larva. This is the most important stage, determining the final yield and quality of the larvae. Larvae are raised in large trays stacked in multiple layers or on cement floors inside greenhouses. The main feed consists of organic waste, kitchen scraps, livestock and poultry manure, brewers spent grains, soybean residue, sugarcane bagasse, leftover bread, vegetable and fruit byproducts. Before feeding, all materials should be pre-fermented with microbes for three to four days to reduce odor, eliminate pathogens, and improve digestibility. An effective mixing formula for one millisquare of rearing area, 32 kilograms brewer spent grains for looseness, plus eight kilograms soybean residue, high protein source, plus four kilom bread or other wet waste, plus about four liters of microbial solution. Ingredients can be flexibly substituted based on local availability, but using a variety of materials helps the larvae grow balanced, fast and achieve high biomass. Recommended stocking density, three to five grams eggs myth greater, yielding approximately 10 kilos of fresh larvae after 10 to 20 days, depending on feed quality. Ideal temperature is 25, 32 degrees Celsius, humidity six to 70%. With good ventilation and microbial use, the process produces almost no unpleasant odor. Black soldier fly larvae eat voraciously and can reduce waste volume by 50 to 90% in just a few weeks. Stage four, harvesting and separation. When the larvae reach the desired size, one to two centimeters long with 40 to 60% protein, harvesting begins. One day before harvesting, a thin layer of chick starter crumble is spread on the surface to dry the biomass, making sieving easier. Early harvest, days seven to nine, larvae are still white gray, rich in protein and calcium, ideal for selling live as feed for poultry, ducks, fish, and shrimp. Later harvest, 12 to 20 days, Larvae turn dark, having accumulated full nutrition. They can be sieved once to collect both larvae for breeding and fertilizer. The remaining residue after sieving is high-grade organic fertilizer with balanced NPK, highly valued for clean vegetable gardens, ornamental plants, and fruit trees. Stage five, pupation and flock renewal. Dark larvae after sieving are transferred to moist sand for pupation. Common formula, 10 kilo clean sand plus one liter water plus five kilograms dark larva, mixed well and placed in trays, 40 by 60 by 10 centimeters. Although the larvae do not eat during this stage, proper moisture helps pupae develop well, resulting in larger, healthier adult flies with higher reproductive capacity. After about seven to 10 days, pupae emerge as adult flies. Newly emerged flies need two days to dry their wings, then begin mating on day three. After laying eggs, the flies die, and farmers collect the dead bodies every two, three days. Dead flies can be used as fertilizer or fish feed. By applying the above process, Chinese farmers not only cleanly process large amounts of organic waste, but also produce a sustainable alternative protein source, reducing livestock feed costs by 30 to 50% while generating additional high quality organic fertilizer for sale or personal use. Black soldier fly farming is truly a promising green economic model suitable for any scale. Thank you for watching this long video to the end. I hope these detailed shares will help you confidently start raising black soldier flies today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We will assist you wholeheartedly. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more useful knowledge. Wishing you success and abundant harvests.